Cheese. It's like my kid over the weekend when he was getting his pictures taken. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Katie. And I'm Beth. And we're here with More Than a Mom. So if you listened last week or the week before, I don't know, all the weeks run into Two each weeks other. ago. Holiday week. Weird. Um, then you'd know what's going on. <laughs> so what we, Beth and I have decided to do is we want to go through this little journey of self-development and discovery, and we want to take you all along with us. So um, like the post says, we encourage questions, and we encourage comments, and encourage participation, and we just all want to learn like a big happy family here right yeah learn and grow together and be a support for each other when we've got hard times and happy times and sad times and good times and all the times that's right so more than a village right yeah anyway without further ado so two weeks ago when we did this we talked about um, our topic of conversation for this particular day and we started with a book called the four agreements do you have that i do awesome right here the four, four agreements. agreements okay did anybody read it Thumbs up down below if you read it. I want to know who's or part of it, following even. along. Or, or even the first agreement, because that's all we were going to talk about, right? Hi, Esmeralda. Hi. So the first agreement that we were going to start on and start our little discussion with is be impeccable with your word, which is the first one. It's like, I don't know what chapter it is, but it's the first Technically agreement. Technically chapter two. Chapter two. Yeah. And it's not too long. It's pretty easy read. It's not. It's just a couple pages of chapters, so. Right. It's so. Really simple. Be impeccable with your word. What does that even mean? Do you know what that means? Well, I thought I did. <laughs> and then I read the chapter and I was like, okay, that's not what I thought it meant. Um, Which is interesting. It is. <laughs> I thought, and maybe it's because I'm not very good with vocabulary sometimes. Like, I think words mean something when they really mean something else. And it's why a dictionary is really handy. Um, so we're all on the same page with what words mean because yeah. words only mean what you assign to them. Yes. That's kind of important. Yes. I actually kind of, I like, one of the things I got out of this chapter is that our words are creation. And nothing will, nothing will exist ever without our words. Mm -hmm. we, like, I mean, think about Mom Nation, Katie. If you had never said, I want to have a group of moms to be a community together and help me or help each other, Mom Nation would never have grown it the way it is. It wouldn't have grown. It, it all started with a thought and and, and then communication. vocalizing and that thought, right? Exactly. So so if we were to just be real concise with what be impeccable with your word means, they do say it in the book. So right there. Go ahead. One little piece of misinformation can break down communication between people, causing every person that it touches to be infected and contagious. What does that mean to you? Uh, well, one thing that I get from, from that quote is that... If we share something that is maybe not quite accurate, it's going to grow into this giant, huge deal. Um, one idea, gossip, mm -hmm. was talked a lot um, in this chapter. And personal experience, um, having trouble with a coworker. I'm sure we've all been there. And I have a habit of like when I'm frustrated with something I just like word vomit about it to everyone and the two people I normally go to are my manager and my husband and uh, in this particular case if I do that it's just gonna keep spreading more gossip about this person that I'm struggling with and what I really should do is go to this person and talk to them about it and confront them and say hey like I'm having an issue with this can we work it out together or keep my mouth shut Right, and just be clear, and just sit them down, and how often does that happen where you have a situation, or there's a person in your life, and you're thinking they're rude, or you're thinking they're impolite, or you're thinking they're disrespectful, and mm -hmm. they're, they're not. They, right, that's not their intention That's at not all. their intention, mm -hmm. yet you think that, so the way you behave, the things that you tell other people, the things that you write on Facebook, um, you know, all of those things are along that vein of this person's this, this person's that, but if you just had a conversation with them, they'd be like, oh, well, that's not what I meant. Yeah, totally. Most we, people don't mean to What be, we think they mean. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. true. It's true. So I think that one of the things to really think about when we are wanting to gossip or vent is another word for gossip <laughs> um, is to just say okay if I talk to this person is it something that could be resolved and if yes then just go talk to them if we're not willing to talk to them then don't talk about it because 
it's just gonna spread more hate and we want to spread love exactly and just leave it alone because more negativity breeds breeds more negativity so who cares if she did what when how to you who cares just let it go sorry let kid go. woke up from oh, nap. kid woke up from nap that's okay we're all moms here we've got this hi sweetheart say hello to everyone can you say hi say hi you're on a video crazy huh so a couple of other points that we got from this particular chapter are um, how we speak to ourselves so that was a really big one and I feel like I'm condensing this into this super small nutshell and this really needs to be a conversation that could probably last an entire week yeah but self-talk how we talk to ourselves um, we are the ones who talk to ourselves the most yeah so let's just take a minute and let's just be quiet for like 10 seconds and listen to the thoughts running through our brain. What vein are they in? What are you saying to yourself? Are we saying stuff like, I'm awesome, I can do this, I can achieve this, I'm gonna give myself a break, I'm human? Or are we saying stuff like, I'm stupid, I can't, nothing ever works for me, life always stinks, that kind of stuff. That's a really big deal, you guys. And I have to tell you that once you're your inner talk, once you're impeccable with that word, and once you're speaking to yourself as though you'd speak to a stranger, some people speak to themselves way worse than they'd speak to a stranger. Oh, yeah. So, funny story. A friend of mine and her husband, they were going golfing. And every time they go golfing, um, her husband would be like, oh, I suck so bad. And, like, every time he'd miss or whatever. And I don't know much about golf. But, so she decided this next time that she was going to say the things he said to himself. And so he would, he'd go to hit the ball and she'd be like, oh, you suck, you missed. And after like two or three times of her saying the same things that he'd said to himself, he turned to her and he's like, why are you saying that? And she's like, well, you said it to yourself. Mm -hmm. And it made him realize that what he said about himself was actually making him worse. Like, yeah. It's That's crazy. Huge. It's huge. And it when you shift it, and it takes a while because, you know, I'll just take personal experience. I wasn't exactly raised with positive self-talk, okay, people? So it's kind of like a habit. And it takes a while to first be aware of that and then second to eliminate that and then third to retrain yourself. And once you retrain yourself and you're like, you know what, no, I am, I'm, I am human and you know what, I do make mistakes and that's okay because people do make mistakes and mm -hmm. I have a zit on my head and that's okay because it's a human thing. And we don't always have to be this ridiculous picture of perfection all the time and I yeah. think if we let ourselves off the hook a little bit you see some really cool magic happening there well and I think one thing to remember is that our self-talk or how we see the world is just a point of view and it's just an opinion and yeah. that does not equal the truth exactly good one Ooh, that's a lot I'm getting a little sweaty here. <laughs> uh, something else about being impeccable with your word that was really important to me um, really stuck with me I've read this book a hundred times but it was really stuck with me this last time around reading it is um, the, the way as a mom speaking to our children and our knee-jerk reactions maybe when they're doing something we don't want them to do and we're like no you're bad no that is so hard for me to hear and um, just because we don't know what they'll carry with them and how that will affect their self-talk. So are they then saying, or going through life saying, well, I'm bad, I'm just bad. And then that affects a lot of things, right? So yes. my attempt, and you know, let's face it, sometimes we fall off the wagon and it's okay and we need to just, you know, give ourselves a little bit of a break, but saying it differently, like it's not what, it's not him that is bad, it's, Perhaps what he did is something that is inappropriate at the moment or unsafe or, you know, whatever the case may be, why, whatever the reason is that you don't want them doing the thing that they did, they aren't bad. The action is the action that you perhaps don't want them to take anymore. And yep. it's, it's within that explanation and being really, really clear with your child. Let's face it, they're way smarter than we give them credit for. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but being really, really clear with your child about them, that is unsafe. They're not bad. However, perhaps running out into the middle of the street could be bad because you get, get hit by a car, blah, 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 right? Right. Yeah, we had to have that exact hit by a car conversation with our kids in the last six months because my two-year-old was trying to run in the middle of the street and I had to like chase after her and, and explain to her, look, like that's not safe because cars are bigger than you and they can't always see you 
And if you got hit, you'd get really, really hurt and you'd have to go to the hospital. And so that helped her realize like, oh, I shouldn't run into the road. But if I had never had that conversation with her and if I had just said, no, 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 that's bad, without explaining myself, she would have just been like, oh, that's bad, but maybe would have done it again because she didn't understand the consequences. Would have done it again, may have carried with her, and you might not even know it. She could carry this right up through school and it could cause major problems. I mean, let's face it, we've got teenagers with major problems these days. They've probably already had, always had major problems, but in this day and age, we are dealing with some serious issues. Well, mental health in this country is on the rise, and I frequently wonder if it's because of how horribly we talk to each other and ourselves. Like, that is definitely part of it. There's all sorts of other things that are causes, but if we were positive as a culture and a Mm. community, then what a difference that would make on those people that are struggling with illnesses. Unreal. I I, I totally agree with you. And even with like, I don't have any daughters, but um, you know, say for instance, I did and my normal talk to myself in the bathroom was, Oh, I'm so fat. Oh, I don't look good in this. Oh, my hair sucks. Oh, la 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 la. And then all of a sudden, our daughters are picking up on this, and this is now becoming their self talk because they think this is right and this is normal. Well, because they follow your example. Yeah. Right? So if our example is negative, they're going to be having negative in their life. If we're positive, then they're going to have positivity in their life. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Anybody yeah. have anything they'd like to add? Any comments? Questions? We ideas yes thoughts. please participation mm-hmm. where this is like you know we, we all know I'm a real estate broker we all know she cooks magically and has <laughs> amazing cookware and this is not what we do we are not you know by any means psychologists experts or anything yeah, like no. that but we want to go along this journey we both have learned a lot in our lifetime we want to share it we want to just have this cool group of like-minded people that just talk about this stuff and learn from each other and support each other. Yeah, and I think also as far as the benefits that we, well, that I see, I don't know, I can't speak for you, but the benefits that I see this having on the group as a whole is how many of us have goals and dreams and things that we would love to do, but we can't, or, oh, I maybe when my kids are grown, or maybe this, or maybe that, or what if. And it's important to realize that the work that Katie and I are going to be doing, that we're going to be sharing with you, is going to help you tap into those goals and those dreams that you have that maybe are being unfulfilled right now and give you access to fulfilling them when you decide you want to fulfill them. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to eliminate words. Well, I'm going to eliminate words like can't and but and try. Can't and but and try. You won't ever hear me say them again. You've heard it here. Okay. We'll hold you to that, Katie. Okay, better. <laughs> All right, so what's next? So next Monday, we have a little post. We're not going to tell you about that, but we have a little post for you to participate on next Monday, right? Yes. And then the Monday after, we're going to do this again, her yes. and I. And we're going to do the next agreement in our book, The Four Agreements. Yep. And what That's agreement number two, which let me turn the pages. Don't take anything personally. What? That's super perfect. <laughs> that is a perfect one. And you haven't read that one yet? <laughs> no. OMG, she's going to love it. Cause I'm excited. I've read the book 444 times. This is my Remember? first time. so Yeah, that's yeah. a really good one. Don't take anything personally. Okay, so be impeccable with your word, people. Comment, all that kind of good stuff below. We want to hear what you have to say. We want to hear if yes. you like this or if we're just talking to ourselves here. Even if we are, I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool with it, too, because I get something out of this time with you. Me, too, and I like that. Awesome. That's cool. Okay, bye. Bye, guys.